finding the cube root of four to six digit numbers. Many of you will be working with the wooden box of cubing materials. For these lessons, we are working with handmade cubing material, so it might look a little different than what you're familiar with. We are going to find the cube root of 79,507. And the first thing that we're going to do is find out how many periods we'll be working with. We're going to count over three digits and we'll mark that with a tick. So we know that our answer will have two digits today. The first period that we are looking at is 79. We can look on our chart and we see that the number 79 is greater than 64, but it's going to be less than 125. So our cube root is the largest cube that we can make will be four. So we can start with that, four cube, and that's gonna equal 64. I have a remainder of 15, and I'm going to start by using the four cube, and from here we can look to see what we'll be building out next. This will represent our four cube of 64. We're going to be bringing down another digit. So we have 155. But we know that if we start building out, we're going to be building out in three directions. If we look at the last column, 3n squared, and we go over to the four, and we're gonna come down and over, we have 48. So we're going to take 155, and we're going to divide that by 48, and that's going to help us find our trial root. So 155 divided by 48, that's going to give us three. So we'll bring in our squares. This will be the second time. And this is the third time. We have 48, and we have that three times. So we're going to multiply 48 times three now. And that's going to give us 144. And we'll subtract that from 155. And we have 11. And from here, we'll be bringing down another digit. From here, we know that we're going to need to use our three squares, and that's going to build here, and here, and then also building up here. So this shows me that I'm going to use my three square four times here, here, and here. So we have three square four times, and we've done that three times. So that is 108, and we subtract that from 110, and we have two left over, and we'll bring down our last digit of seven, so now we can look at our chart to see if we have enough. If we have 27 left over, we can build a three cube. And if we look at our model, we know that we have three here and here. And if we take our three cube, we can confirm that that in fact works. We've finished our cube of 43 and we can check our work. We have four and three. We can also check our work on paper by taking 43 three times. So that would be 43 times 43 times 43. And the students can calculate that to equal 79,507. So that checks.